Hello, everybody. Hello, 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 hello. This is your girl, Prophetess Sharita Perry. I am here to tell you that we are about, about to embark on the 23rd challenge. We are going into day eight, day eight of the 23rd Psalms challenge. Okay, the word of God today, and, and, and this is what the Lord gave me as I was sitting here preparing to uh, get my, my uh, camera and stuff together. I saw the word of God as a slingshot. And I saw the individuals that are participating in this inside the slingshot. So God is pulling us back, pulling us back, pulling us back. And once we release after 30 days or more, depending on how long you choose, because just because we stop this on 30 days, does not mean that you can't continue to read the thirty, uh, the twenty third Psalms for more than thirty days. So the objective is to catapult you into the blessings that God has for you. Whether your blessing is of peace, whether your blessing is love, whether your blessing is less stress, less anxiety, less, you know, there are people suffering from depression. There are people that are going through some things. The trials of our faith work is patience in here. So the one thing before I start with the 23rd Psalms, there's one scripture that I need for you to know before we get, well, two scriptures. I'm going to read two scriptures, then I'm doing the 23rd Psalms, and then I'm saying a prayer, and then that's going to be all for the day. So it says, beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prospers. So that scripture there in particular, God is saying, I want to bless you. Yes, I want to bless you. And not only do I want to bless you, I want your soul to be prosperous. Because if your soul is prosperous and walking after the things of God, the Deuteronomy 28 blessings will start to trickle their way into your, into your life. The, 28, the Deuteronomy 28 blessings are protection, good health. You'll be blessed in the city, blessed in the field, blessed in your goings, blessed in your coming. Your children will, will be blessed. Your... Um, financial situation. What do you do for an occupation? Your job will be blessed, overflowing, pressed down, shaking, and overflowing, overflowing. Because this word right here, once we say it on a regular basis, we've got to then use the four tools that I have for you, which is obedience. Obedience. Number one is obedience. Number two, Number two is faith. Number three, the third tool, the third tool is love. Fourth is prayer. Along with prayer, I put praise and worship. So prayer, praise, and worship go into the same bucket because if you pray to God, praise God, or worshiping God, it don't matter as long as you are creating dialogue and as long as what is in your heart is flowing to him in love, he accepts whether it's prayer, praise, or worship. And all three, my goodness, the windows and the gates and the doors of heaven are just going to flood those that are actually doing all three. And obedient? Hmm. So let's get into the 23rd Psalms. And it reads as follows. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. God saying, I got you. I got you. I got you. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leaveth me beside the still waters. Even though turbulence may rise, God is still saying, I got you. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me on a path of righteousness for his name's sake. He got you on this journey. Just give him your heart in obedience because God's got you. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. The word for tonight is God's got you. He's there to lead you, guide you, comfort you. Hallelujah, somebody. Restore you, deliver you. God's got you. Hello, somebody. God's got you. So it says, thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemy. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. 
my happiness is full and is about to bubble over. Hallelujah, somebody. I am at such peace that my peace is running over. I got so much peace running off of me that I got peace attaching itself to everything that attaches itself to me. Hello, somebody. I've got so much love flowing over in my spirit that love is flowing over and filtering over. God says he's got you. He's got you. He's got love for you. He's got peace for you. He's got joy for you. He has got you. He's got restoration for you. It says, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. God says, I've got you. I'm about to restore you. Just let me lead you. I'm about to deliver you. Just let me lead you. I am about to reset that which was broken. Hello, somebody. I'm a, God says, I'm about to fix it for you. God is saying, I got you. The word for day eight is I got you. The Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. See, I'm not going to be in lack because God has got me. God has got you. So I'm here to tell you that God's got you. Your cup is about to run over. Hello, somebody. It may not run over overnight, but I'm here to tell you that if you've got an empty cup right now in the name of Jesus, God is starting to put some drops in that cup. Hello, somebody. He's starting to fill that cup with love. He's starting to fill that cup with joy. He's starting to fill that cup with peace. He's starting to fill that cup with happiness. He's starting to fill that cup. Hello, somebody. With ideas. Hello, somebody. He's about to fill that cup with perseverance. He's about to fill your cup with resilience. He is about to fill your cup as such that you are steadfast, unmovable, stable, mentally, physically, emotionally, and financially. Hello, somebody. God's got you. Hello, somebody. Hallelujah. Mm, I just got excited because see, I don't know where the Lord is going to take me every time I read the 23rd Psalm. So every day is something new. I mean, I'm on day eight and the word for today is to the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. So God is telling me to tell you, I've got you in the name of Jesus. God is going to lead you and he is going to guide you into a point. Hallelujah, somebody that you look back and it's like the songwriter says, my soul looks back and wonder. Hallelujah, somebody. How I made it over. There's people that are going through things tonight. They are going through things health-wise. God is saying, I've got you. Hello, somebody. I've got you. So I'm here to tell you that if you've got any sin in your life, the Holy Spirit right now is saying, just tell the people to repent. Hallelujah. Repent. Hallelujah. Repent. 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 And turn your heart to God. Because it says, the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. Let go of yesterday because God says, even I have blotted out your transgressions and thrown them into the depths of the sea. God's got you tonight. God says, you are forgiven. You are healed. You are delivered. You are restored. You are renewed in the name of Jesus. He says, your blessings are on uh, on its way. Hallelujah. Some, sometimes things are delayed. Hallelujah. But not denied. Hallelujah, some, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. So I'm closing out on this note because the spirit of the Lord says he's got you. So today, number one is repent. Number two, obedience. Obey God. Hallelujah. Find your Ten Commandments in Exodus 20. Get on them, get in them, read them, study them until they be, become a part of your life as well. Number two, number three, faith. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. But faith is the substance of things that are hoped for and the evidence of things that are unseen. So faith means you've got to get up. If you want your blessings, you got to get up, get out and get them. They're not going to come knocking on your door like the publishing clearance house. They're not going to come knocking on your door. You've got to get up, get out, become active, become a part of. You've got to walk in faith unwavering. Do not go into a job interview in doubt. Don't fill out a college application or a school application in doubt. 
in doubt, in doubt, in doubt, because your word is going to go forth to accomplish that when you send it and it's not going to return to you void in this season. Hallelujah, somebody. Don't operate in doubt at all in anything, in your finance, pertaining to your house, pertaining to anything, pertaining to your finances, everything. Keep it positive, keep it focused, and know that just because your cup only got a little bit or maybe a, might be a little bit empty, but God will send you a blessing in the name of Jesus because you've got to operate in expectancy. The Bible says, seeking you shall find, asking you shall receive, knock and the door will open. So number one is repent. Number two is obedience. Number three is faith. Number four is love. Hallelujah, somebody. God so loved the world. Hallelujah. The greatest commandment is love. So love on God today because he's got a blessing on the other side of you loving on him. God is about to give you some reciprocity in your life. Whatsoever man so so shall he reap. So reap and you're going to reap some love because I'm here to tell you today. So seeds of love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, somebody. So seeds of love. How do you sow seeds of love? Just act kindly, act justly. And start rebuking negative energy and emotions and keep it moving. Keep it moving. Hallelujah. And the last thing is prayer. Get your dialogue set with God and your blessings are on the way. Hallelujah. Because God's got you today. Some praise, some prayer, some worship. Some praise, some prayer, some worship. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. I'm closing out tonight because if you say yes to the Lord, he will say yes to you. And there is a blessing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And hallelujah on the other side of your yes. So I encourage you to encouraging you to say yes to the Lord and say yes to the Lord today because he's got you. He's got a blessing for you. Hallelujah. He is about to open up a window that you will not. Hallelujah. Be able to. Hallelujah. He will, you will not be able to receive. You're going to have a windfall, a tsunami of blessings. Just stay focused and don't give up. Don't give up. Do not give up. When you give up, you delay your blessings. When you give up, you delay the things of God. So be obedient and walk in faith. Be obedient and walk in faith. Hallelujah, somebody. So God's got you. 